State lawmakers representing Eastern North Carolina came together today to listen to the public from the state of our district to your concerns on this year's state budget. No topic was off the table. WNCT's Tamara Scott has more on the public forum and what questions people asked. In 2025, there'll be 40 million Americans in the United States uh, with Alzheimer's. I'm not going to take hands, but I guarantee you that probably half of the room here knows somebody, uh, either family member or friend, who is dealing with the ravages of Alzheimer's. Healthcare was only one of the many topics discussed at Sunday's public forum. Representatives Gene Farmer Butterfield and Dr. Greg Murphy, as well as Senator Don Davis, opened the floor to hear the questions and concerns of people in the East. I'm curious to get an update as to what's been going on in both the House and the Senate here in Wiley, and also to have some input to say how I feel about it. Representative Murphy says it was a mission accomplished. I think we had a lot of issues about health care, um, the opioid crisis, but also funding for a rural uh, in eastern North Carolina. Which, of course, led to the elephant in the room, questions about the state budget. It is a good budget. It's not perfect. Teacher pay is being raised. We're funding um, our education and our universities. We're taking care of our health. We're working on retirees. Although we will wait to see what the governor does with the budget proposal, Bethel's mayor says today was helpful in understanding how their small communities are being affected. To see what I can hear, anything that I can carry back that to help my community as well as the county, but things that can help Bethel uh, to, to produce and grow. In Greenville, Tamara Scott, 9 on your side. Both Representatives and Senator Davis also explained how the legislative process works and what bills they're currently working on that could impact the East.